everybody, this is Stephanie from Razzle Dazzle Rabbitry and Yarns, LLC. In today's video, we're gonna talk about how and why cleaning your rabbit bottles matters. So, we have two different rabbit water bottles. They're 32 ounce rabbit bottles, and they are made of plastic. They have a couple different parts to them. The tops unscrew, and there's usually a little rubber washer that's inside and this part usually does not come off. So you want to, you're gonna to wanna to have your rabbit water bottles, you're gonna to wanna to have a sink that you've disinfected first, you're gonna want some sort of uh, toothbrush or something that can reach in to your water bottle, and dish soap. There's many different ways that you can clean rabbit water bottles, but in this video we're gonna show with dish soap. If you're worried about the rabbit hemorrhagic disease, uh, the version two, you do not want to use dish soap. You want to use a, either a 10% solution of bleach or a 10% solution of sodium hydroxide. So this will not kill the RH uh, DV2. So we're gonna turn our water on. Our water gets pretty warm. We don't need it scalding hot, but we just need it on enough. We have our drain stopper. We're gonna plug it. We're just gonna put a little bit, about a teaspoon of dish soap in here. And we're just gonna let it fill up. We want it to fill up enough so that when we take the water bottle and place it in the water, that it covers the full water bottle. So this water bottle has been sitting around outside and just by sitting around outside, it had debris on it and it was getting a little dirty. We always have extra water bottles with us. And we're just filling this one up. I'll just let that sit for now. You saw we took off the top. We took off the little O-ring. We're just gonna place them in the water. This water bottle was full of water and it was outside. Something you wanna note when you're washing your water bottles is the condition. So inside, this looks yellowish green. This is not what we wanna see in a rabbit water bottle. That means that there are things growing in this water bottle we do not want our rabbits to have. So we take the top off again and we're gonna try. If your finger doesn't get it out, this one got all stuck. And we're gonna remove the little o-ring and we're gonna remove the top we're gonna dump the water out on the other side of the sink we just keep letting our water fill up cleaning rabbit water bottles is not a time-consuming activity it just takes about 10 minutes out of your week to give your uh, water bottles, a scrub. You may notice if you have water, such as well water, that um, your water may actually just be a different color when you even put it in. And you may notice that um, depending on the type of water you have, algae or other things may grow quite easily in there. So I'm just putting the, the brush in. I'm just using a toothbrush to scrub this and we just scrub around it's about enough water we just scrub around sometimes if the toothbrush doesn't work you can use your finger and you can see when i take this out this is not a clean water bottle this was a water bottle that had nothing in it and that was just literally sitting around outside and that's what was happening it had the top off sitting around outside so we want to make sure to clean all parts of this water bottle anytime there's a little ridge right here of plastic anytime you can see there's debris that gets stuck in there we want all this water bottle to be clean inside and outside so there's quite a bit of scrubbing it does take a bit of elbow grease when you use dish soap if you use the bleach mixture, it comes off a lot faster. 
So one of the reasons why you might want to use dish soap instead of bleach is if you're looking for a bit more environmentally friendly solution. So if you have a more environmentally friendly soap, this is a good option. But if you live in an area that has uh, quite a bit of the rabbit disease that's happening right now, do not use dish soap. So as we're going, we just kind of fill it, empty it out, scrub it all around. You may notice that uh, water bottles, they sit like this with the nozzle out and the top of your rabbit water bottle may actually get dirty too. All sorts of things can accumulate. We've had rabbit bottles that have just been sitting outside and the nozzle was on and we've had all sorts of bugs try to build their homes in the, in the nozzle. This is the easier of the two water bottles to clean. So why, do you, why would you care? Why would anyone care about cleaning water bottles? Because rabbits in the wild, they don't have clean water bottles to drink of, out of right? Well, if you have a domesticated rabbit, it lives a different way than a wild rabbit does. And wild rabbits, they get a significant amount of their water from what they eat. They have access to a lot of a lot more fresh greens in most areas. So this one has been cleaned off inside, outside. We just give it a good rinse so that all the bubbles are out. Whoop, there's more bubbles in there. I can see them. We don't want to see bubbles in here. We don't want any dish soap in here. And bubbles are a good sign that you still have dish soap hanging around in your bottle. There we go. So put it upside down. We want it to air dry. Now we have our little O, little O ring here to clean up. Same thing, you take your little brush and you wanna really scrub this. This goes inside the nozzle, we want this clean. We want to keep our rabbit water bottles clean because the things that grow in here are not things that we want our rabbits to drink. We don't want our rabbits getting sick. So again, even, this, even though this is a blue color and it's going to be more difficult to see, we want to keep this clean. In any of these parts like this, this is going to be parts, well, things accumulate in, all these little lines, this is, I wish these rabbit water bottles were not designed with as many of these lines. I wish it was more smooth because this is not a good design. It traps, it traps all sorts of things that can grow in these ridges. If it was smooth, then that's a bit more, less, it's a bit less inviting for bacteria, for example, and algae to grow. So the water goes down through here. I'm just going to shake some water through there. Unfortunately, we cannot get the toothbrush in here. If you do have, there's a small, I'll show you here. So we have metal straws and one of the cleaning devices is, we have two actually. So there's two different cleaning devices. Um, we'll use this one. This is just a brush. And if you wanna use one, you can put it in just like this. You twirl it around because this is what the rabbits drink out of and we want it to be clean. Again, we need to rinse this off. It doesn't have to be boiling hot water, but we want it clean. All right, so let's do this again. So this is the dirtier of the two bottles. This one had water in it sitting. Again, we're really cleaning these ridges. You're really scrubbing these ridges because 
We do not want dirt, we don't want debris, we don't really want anything that isn't water with our rabbits. We don't have the rabbit hemorrhagic disease by us right now that we know of. We're not in an area that has any confirmed cases. We're not in a state so far that last time I checked that had confirmed cases. So do you see how dirty this is? That's quite disgusting. That's inside where the rabbit drinks. We don't want to see that. We want this coming out clean. You may think this is a lot to go through for rabbits. Well, the truth is you don't have to do this every day. And sometimes the season, depending on the season, depends on how often you have to clean it. You've got to clean a little bit on the top here. So for example, in winter, we don't have to clean our water bottles as much, because, but we have to change them more frequently. The water freezes and that really makes it a, more difficult for bacteria to grow. It makes it certainly more difficult to, for algae to grow. So once you're done with this one, you really rinse that one out. And if you remember, we're gonna do it one more time for this O-ring. We have a plasticky rubber type O-ring. Even the little parts inside this O-ring have to be cleaned. They have to be scrubbed because there's really no point in cleaning your, your rabbit water bottles if you're not going to clean the entire rabbit water bottle. All right, this is the most dirty one. You can even see that there's, there's a color. If you wouldn't want to drink out of this, your rabbit should not have to drink out of this. That's just my opinion. Everyone has their own. But in my little rabbitry world, we really don't want our rabbits drinking out of dirty, dirty bottles. So you can see just scrubbing this, there's, a, there's quite the difference. Let's wash again. You can literally just see everything, all the debris truly just coming off this rabbit water bottle. So water bottles sitting around with well water in them in the summertime, they're, they're really a great, great place for algae and bacteria. And depending on how much water you have in there, you can have mold growing, you can have insects trying to get in around us. If you leave this completely open and water just sitting like this, the mosquitoes will lay their eggs in here and they will hatch and you will end up with mosquitoes in your rabbit water bottle. So look at the color of this water. This is in the color of this toothbrush. Not, not clean at all. So that was, that was one little round. As much as you possibly can, you just scrub up this water bottle. Outside, inside. If you want to use a bigger scrubber than a little brush like this for the outside, that's certainly possible too. But again, the more scrubbers you have, the more you have to keep track of and sometimes the more, the more you have to spend. And so if you want to keep it as inexpensive as possible, this is a good option. This one, let's put as far down as we can get it. I think this one reaches a little bit longer. So we just scrub and scrub and we turn the bottle and this is all the way to the bottom of the bottle, just barely, but we want to get this whole thing. We want this whole thing scrubbed up. We do not want any dirty things left in here because anything that you can do such as this that keeps your rabbit water bottles clean just makes life better for your rabbits, makes it less likely that they will get sick. A clean environment for rabbits goes an extremely long way. Good ventilation 
for rabbits goes an extremely long way for rabbits. This is not something uh, most many rabbit diseases can be prevented by better, better animal husbandry. So better breeding is also a good way to prevent a lot of rabbit diseases. So when we're done, we're not really done because we still have to clean our tools. We're gonna let the water out. We're gonna take a little bit of the dish soap in our hand. And again, this is a tutorial of how to clean all of your rabbit stuff. Rabbit water bottles just with dish soap. You can clean with bleach, you can clean with sodium hydroxide. Again, just a little bit of that in there. We want our tools clean too. We're gonna let all this air dry. We've got it in the drying rack right now. We want it all to air dry. There's different methods you can also use that involve a dishwasher. If you have settings on your dishwasher for sterilizing and sanitizing, um, that's something you can, you can use. So after we're done, what we would do is we wanna grab A little sponge here. We want everything cleaned up. Because again, if you're using your kitchen sink to clean, then this is where it's in your kitchen. It's by your own food. So if you do your dishes in the kitchen sink, you definitely want to clean this out. And if you're very much worried again about uh, different bacteria growth or different um, possible diseases. Whoop, I've got to clean this too. Hold on. Don't use dish soap if, if there's a incidences of, high incidences of, incidences of rabbit disease in your area. If your rabbits themselves have been infected, um, if, they, if they've been sick, then don't, one of the times you're not gonna use dish soap is if you've already had sick rabbits. You wanna use bleach, you wanna use the sodium, uh, sodium hydroxide, something more powerful. Just really wanna rinse this out. And so there we go, the next thing we do is we just let all this air dry and you can tell there's a massive color difference already in this bottle. And then when it, once it's done, we're gonna fill it up with water and bring it outside and water our rabbits. Thanks for watching, make sure you've hit the subscribe button and press the bell if you haven't already.